Hi, it's Janie, and welcome back to my channel. And today I have an empties video for you. Wow, doesn't seem like it should be already time to do empties again, but here we are, and I have a whole bag full or bucket full, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, I have on, oh, I just dropped one. Oh. Okay, so um, I've been having some major, 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 major issues with my back. My back has been out, my lower back, my middle back, and my hip has all been out. And I've been going to chiropractor, um, doing all kinds of things to try and get my back back to being healthy. Still not 100%, but it is better. So anyway, I did this last few weeks, I have been doing a ton and ton of soaks uh, with Epsom salt. So I have a couple bags, big bags here. These are seven pounds um, from Sam's. They came in a two pack box. Um, went through those. And then I have some Dr. Teal's. Um, soaks, bags that I went through. I told you I was doing a lot. I mean, I was getting up in the middle of the night and taking a soak in the hot tub. Not the hot tub, but a bath full of hot water to just try anything to alleviate my back. It was, it's been horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anyway, um, a makeup remover wipe. Talk about these all the time in my empties. Get these at Big Lots. Then I have a bottle of brush cleaner. This is the Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleaner. I use this every day to spot clean my um, eye brushes that I use and I really like it. I like the smell. It dries really quick. It cleans them really good and this, gosh, this bottle lasts a very long time. I think it lasted me six months maybe. Anyway, you can get this at um, Sephora. Then I have a can of mousse from Pantene. This is the No Crunch Whip Curls Mousse. I really like this. The only issue though is they don't um, sell this in retail stores any longer. Um, you can find it on eBay and you can find it on Amazon. I got mine on Amazon um, only because the sellers that I found on eBay, there was so much controversy with them um, sending out products that wasn't real you know it was fakes anyway i mean who would who would do a fake pantene i mean what's the purpose of that but anyway so i did get it on um, amazon i do like that i like it a lot then i have um, a soap here this is the petal and blossom castile body wash it's the rose water with other essential oils it no i didn't like this i got this at TJ Maxx, I think, either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And the only reason why I got it, because I really liked the smell. The smell was really, really good. Um, but it just did not lather up, foam up. I don't know. I didn't like it. So um, there's still a gob, a little gob, glob. There we go. A little glob still left in there, but I'm not going to, I'm done with it. Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins. I take two of these every single day. I say take. I eat two of these every single morning. Um, I think they have helped um, my hair get back to being healthy and I do recommend those. A product from Claire's. This is the um, the Supple Preparation, Preparation Facial Toner Moisturizing Skin Care. Um, I use this as part of my 7 Skin toner routine and I do like this and I have um, actually repurchased that. That would be coming up in a haul video, a K-Beauty haul video pretty soon. Finished up another Monet um, shampoo. This is the Renew shampoo for moisture, shine, and strength for hydration. I'm still on the fence with Monet. I don't have any other products left and so I'm using some other products right now but I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research on those. This guy, I had a love-hate relationship with him. This is the Iborian Solid Cleansing Oil. I liked the smell of it. I liked the fact that it took the makeup off and it didn't take a whole lot. It just took a little dab. 
the problem was is that this was so gunky that it would gunk up the drain in the tub or the sink wherever I was using it and I just I didn't like that I didn't like the gunkiness of it at all but oh it smells so good so I won't repurchase that I won't get that again but it's too bad if it would have just dissolved a little better I guess instead of when you would rinse it off like if you were in the tub and you would rinse it off and um, then you have little globs of your makeup bound to this oil stuff floating in the tub and I don't want I hate floaters in the tub and I don't want anything that's floating in the tub it grosses me out <laughs> So anyway, so, oh, I finished up a little pack of my Real Techniques um, Miracle, Four Miracle Contour Wedges. I like to use these to put my um, foundation on every morning. This little flat edge right here is perfect for just kind of pouncing and smoothing that out and like that. Um, I have a Luna, Sunday Riley Luna oil. This little guy lasted a very long time. My goodness, because it just takes a little dab of this stuff. Um, this was in the Power Couple. It was a duo pack that has the um, good jeans in it. Um, I do like this. I have another little bottle of it that I'm using. And I really think probably when I'm done with that, I probably will get another... Um, combo pack of that probably when probably in the fall when Sephora is doing the 20% off sale so anyway I do like that though I have a vitamin this is the oligonol I can't pronounce it but anyway it's for um it's supposed to be for wrinkles and for um to help with the stomach and I think I really have noticed a difference with it with my my belly being helps with belly bloat I don't I don't know if it really claims to do that let's see what does it say decreases skin wrinkles and brown spots reduces um, belly fat I don't think it's reduced my belly fat but it seems like when I take this I feel like my belly is flatter and by no means do I have a flat belly I've had two children I'm almost 50 years old the days of having a flat belly and a waistline are gone but anyway um, I think it helps tremendously to have to flatten the belly a little bit I can definitely tell a difference when I don't take it um, I take one every night I get it on Amazon but yeah I can definitely tell a difference because I was out of it um, and I didn't order it in the whole couple weeks that I was on the steroids for my back and then I wasn't taking this plus the steroids I mean I felt like I was a blowfish I mean you're hurting anyway and then you've got all this you're just all swelled up and it was a miserable it's been a miserable last couple weeks I tell you I'm glad it's over I'm glad my back is getting better but anyway got it back in um, started taking it again and, and after a week of taking it I can already tell a difference so as far as the wrinkles and the brown spots, um, I don't know. Um, I feel like over the last few months that my skin has gotten a lot better. And not that I had bad skin to begin with. I, I've, I pride myself on having really good skin. I've, I, I work hard on taking care of my skin. But since I incorporated um, so much K-Beauty and then this, I don't know if it's the K-Beauty. I don't know if it's this. I don't know if it was that Sunday Riley Luna oil. I don't know, but maybe it's the combination of all of it. It's working to really help to kind of smooth things out and just make everything look pretty. So anyway, I will continue to take those for sure. And then I have the Dr. Dennis Gross Frulic and Retinol triple correction eye serum I bought this back in November during the Sephora VIB sale and I really think this made a really big difference in the wrinkles and the crepiness under my eyes I really do um, I have some other retinol that I'm using right now that's for the eyes and when I get done with that I may go back to this because um, I, I don't know I, th I just really feel like it made a difference underneath this area here for me so 
And then I have some samples that I'm going to share with you. Some of them are some deluxe size samples. One is this one here from Rad, <clears throat> and this is the eye lift um, firming treatment. Um, I don't know because after I finished up that the one I just showed you that Dr. Dennis Gross, then I had this, so I started using this, and now I'm on to another one. But um, I don't know. I don't. Well, let me put it this way: I don't feel inclined to go and buy the big bottle of this, but I do feel inclined to repurchase the Dr. Dennis Gross. There you go. Then I have a product from Kate Sum Somerville. I start saying Sunday Riley again. Kate Somerville, the Wrinkle Warrior. This is a two-in-one um, plumping moisturizer plus serum. Um, it was okay, I guess. Um, I, I feel like I am seeing better results with my K-Beauty than I did with this, so I won't purchase a big size of that. And then here's a product from Belief, and this is the Bergamot Herbal Extract Toner. I did like this, and this would be definitely something I would consider purchasing, purchasing a full size of this when the next VIB sale comes around in um, the fall. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot in the spring, the spring one, because it's like 15% from Sephora. I don't know. Um, because to be honest with you, that this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I've gone a little ham with that. And um, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing a whole lot from the Sephora spring sale. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Then I have from um, Sicily the... Oh, it's some kind of eye and lip contour cream. Okay, it was okay. Now, the Sicily brand is, the price on this line is just astronomical. I mean, so would not be purchasing that, even if I felt like it really did a whole lot. I just couldn't see spending, you know, two or $300 for an, a tube of eye cream. So anyway, another product that I feel like is just, too overpriced. I mean, it's a good product, but it, I just don't really see the reason why it should be the cost that it is. But it's the SK2, the RNA Power Radical New Age Essence. Um, if it wasn't for the cost of this, I would have a lot of SK2 products in my skincare regime, but the, the price of it's just crazy. It's just, I don't understand. And then I have a little um, sample of La Mer. And this is the um, moisturizing soft cream. Now I do like the soft cream better than the original La Mer, but again, the price of this is just, it's a good cream, but it's not that good. I mean, come on, <laughs> it's not worth, you know, three or $400. I think a big jar of the La Mer cream is over $1,000. $1,000 for a jar of face cream. That's ridiculous. Mm -mm. No. Anyway, okay, and then I have these two products I didn't actually finish. What I did with these is I like to combine these two and I put them into a powder box so I can mix them. But I wanted to talk about these. Um, I just bought these and on a whim, I mean, I know the Cody Airspun has been around forever and ever and ever. I mean, it even tells you here it's been in production since 1935. Oh my gosh, where have I been about this powder? I need to, I'll probably include this into a favorites video. Love it. I mean, it's what I use to set my face today and it just makes the most creamiest, smoothest finish onto your face. I mean, it's, I love it. And plus the smell of it. I mean, you come into my room, it has a powdery smell to it. So if you don't like things that have a, big fragrance to them. You're not going to like this. But, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I just want to put it all over my body because of the smell of it. But anyway, I have two colors here, the naturally neutral and the translucent extra coverage. And these are the two that I mix and I have been using them for the last couple of weeks and been setting my face with them. And I liked it. I have liked it so much that when I went to Walmart the other day, I bought two more so that I would have them because I don't, I don't want to run out. I don't want to run out. And knowing me and my luck, even though this has been in production since 1935, it would be something that they would all of a sudden decide, well, we're not making this anymore. So 
I wouldn't be able to get it no more. But anyway, I know originally these used to be like in a, um, a paper box and the, the lid on it or the top of it was a paper. I remember, I remember that. And I've seen, we go antiquing a light, my, my husband and I, and I see the older boxes of this stuff in antique stores and stuff. It's pretty, pretty cool. But anyway, so that is it for my empties. I, I don't feel like I really had a whole lot. Um, I think because I was just so focused the last, for the most part of March on trying to do things to ease my back pain that I wasn't really doing a whole lot of other stuff. But anyway, so that is it. I hope that you have enjoyed. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Also, um, subscribe if you have not already subscribed to my channel. And if you are subscribed and you haven't clicked on to the little bell notification, you might want to go ahead and do that because I guess things are changing with YouTube and videos don't just automatically show up in feeds anymore. So if you want to get notified, you know, you would have to click on the little bell icon. I know it's kind of annoying though sometimes if you have, especially if you have a lot of YouTubers that you like to watch and then you're going to start getting all these little notifications all day long. But anyway, it's your decision. Just like, just giving you the information that I have on that. But anyway, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.